Last night at about 3 a.m., we made it to Playa Bonita and got anchored. Uh, it's supposed to be one of the prettiest beaches here in Dominican Republic. Um, that remains to be seen. It has been dark. The sun is getting ready to come up. And, uh, of course, I'm sitting here watching it. Um, we're all kind of over sailing at this point. The issue I have with it is sure you can tack. Um, the seas don't always work with you. Uh, so you end up motoring 50 plus percent of the time anyways. Unless you want to sit and wait for the weather to change and the wind to turn around. But at some point you've got to get somewhere. Um, and if I had absolutely nowhere to be ever sailing might be the thing but you know for example it took Christopher Columbus something like three months to get across the Atlantic something that takes us 20 days nowadays so that tells me that he sat around and waited in the middle of the ocean for two months and ten days for weather to change. For now, we just file up the old dinosaur burners and raise the RPMs and off we go. So my point here is coming from power boats going to sailboats. I don't think it's what I want to do. You know, we've spent something like $5,000 waiting on weather and wind. You know, and everyone says it's, it's too expensive to drive a powerboat. Well, it's awfully expensive to wait. Um, you know, groceries aren't cheap nowadays. Uh, fuel for the you know, little runabout's not cheap nowadays. So the more time we sit somewhere, the more money it costs us. If I were to motor a big yacht from We'll just say Miami to St. Croix. They get about one mile to the gallon. And uh, you know, run about 1,100 gallons of fuel. At $5 a gallon, it's 5,500 bucks. But I would have been there in a week not four months. Just weighing the cost here of waiting and the cost of actually getting somewhere. To be quite honest, I think the cost of actually getting somewhere is, is in the long run a lot less. Um, you know, not only do you have motor maintenance, oil changes, mechanical problems, but you also have another propulsion on your boat that also has problems, broken tackle, lines, sails need repairs, you know. It seems to me that it's probably about double the cost and maybe not quite double the cost, but it definitely is more money to maintain a sailboat than it is a powerboat. But, I don't know. We'll see, you know. Do we keep sailing? Do we sell it? Buy a powerboat? 
Do we sell it? Get back into a house. I don't know, but I do know one thing. That sailboats are miserably slow. They don't go where you want them. You can't leave when you want. You can't leave in bad weather. You can't leave with no wind. Unless you're motoring. Then you're not a sailboat. You're a motorboat. Anyways, thought for the day.